Okay, so this one's due November 15th. It's service disabled veteran owned small business set aside. Uh, it's for Dell computers. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it looks like you can refund on all of them from what I've seen so far. And you were scared to file. I don't see why. <laughs> you would have got money back. Okay, okay, so here's the standard form. So all, all right. I need you to fill out is blocks 12, 17, 24, 24, and, uh, 24 and 30. Right. So we're going to scroll down. Right. Okay, so I want you to fill out. This is a continuation of block 18. Okay, that's just something that's competitive. They want you to refill out. Yep, they want your remit, remitting address, uh, electronic invoice, uh, government invoice address. Okay, this is the basis of award. This is just their blah, blah, blah covering their beer. Uh, okay. Here's where they want you to fill out the actual pricing. Right, okay. That's the specs. That's where they want it delivered to. That's all you got to fill out. The rest of this is what we do for you. Okay, so if we're bidding on something before we submit it, we will you have to look at, look at all the supporters before we submit no. it? No, no, all this stuff it. down here, all these reps and certs, we do for you. All you have to do is is download a copy of your reps and certs off of SAM. Okay. All right, and then down here, this is your instructions to offer. This is what they want you to submit. So they want you to submit that standard form. They want you to submit sign and dated offers, blah, 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 on the standard form. They want this on the standard form. Acknowledgement of amendments, past performance. This is how they're going to evaluate. And this is your reps and certs that also what we do for you is you just have to include a copy of it. Okay. So you this is actually a really easy bid. Well, when you say do it for us, that means this is already in the SAM that it was already set up? That Correct. Form? It's already processed. It's already in your SAM. You're going to see this on almost every solicitation, almost every opportunity the government has. They're going to request a copy of your reps and certs. The reason why they include it in here blank is because some people, uh, used to be you could do your reps and certs manually or you could do it online, what's called ORCA. Uh, in 2012, when they implemented SAM, you no longer had the option of doing these manually. You have to do them through SAM. But these purchasing agents still include them with the documentation for liability purposes. Right, so I'll go up to SAM, download it, and then upload it. Yeah, you just go to SAM. Gov. Right. Go to search res search records. Okay. Put in your company name, Dunn's number, or cage code. I'm going to put in our cage code. Five Y M D one. So that's that's me right there. I'm going to click view details. Okay. And click reps and search right there. Where's it at? Hold on, hold on, hold on. on the side, right over here. I, I'm going to send you a video oh, okay. that actually covers this step by step. Okay, great, great. Right, you just click it, and then right here it says download your report. It'll either say download FAR report, or it'll have two. It'll say download FAR and download FAR and DFAR. If you happen to have the one that has the FAR and DFAR, download both. If it just says download FAR, just download your FAR report. Okay, DFAR, right? Okay. Right? And that'll be attached to the to, to the bid when we upload it, right? Obviously. You'll usually when you download it as a separate document, it'll ask you to upload it as a separate document. 
Okay. Any other questions? Um. Yeah. Uh, just a couple, you know, just a couple of simple questions. Um. Like when you, when the post date and the response date, right? What's usually a good time or amount of time you think for say a proposal like that? It should be like a week, two weeks before or something. What would you recommend? So say if it's, if it's a certain day, like on the tenth, they they um post it, then they want it by you know a week or two weeks. No, the response date really has anything to do with the post date because if they do any modifications, which they do all the time, where they, they change it, every time they change it, usually they're going to extend the, the due date. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good enough. So let's say they get down to uh, where they ask you to submit your questions. Whenever you submit questions, uh, if multiple people submit questions, they have to take all those questions and answer them. And then they have to post that Q&A on FBO to give everybody the new information. And when that happens, they'll usually extend the due date. On the average, when something's awarded, you have up to 30 days to start, and you have up to 30 days to ship is the average. And then the government has up to 30 days to pay you. But sometimes uh, okay. they'll award it, and they'll ask you to ship it in a week. Sometimes they'll award it, and they'll tell you you don't have to ship it for six months. It's, it's all based on each contract. Each one's different. Okay. Do you have another question? Um, I, I think I have one more question about um, the RFP, RFQ. Are they usually on yes. this site? Okay. In the RFQ, they say that it's not really, they're not really, they're just really looking for information or what is it? No, that would be an RFI. An RFI is RFI. where they're looking for information. That's a request for information. An RFQ is a request for quote. Uh, an RFP is a request for proposal. Um, you know, the only difference is a quote would be if they were buying like this. They're buying laptops. They just need a quote. A proposal would be because you're going to build a nuclear power plant. You're not just giving them a price. You're going to propose right. how you're going to successfully do, you know, do that. That's really the only difference between an RFQ and an RFP. Uh, RFIs are requests for information. Sources sought means they're looking to see if there are people interested. Uh, okay. An RFI could also be where they don't know much about what they're buying and they're looking for more information on what it is that they're buying. All right, just wanted to be kind of clear on that. Sure. Any other questions? Anybody else have any questions or anybody have a bid or a proposal solicitation they want to work on? Hey, John, this is uh, Bill for, uh, a veteran supply. I had, I had sent you an email earlier today. Uh, one of our suppliers or possible suppliers asked us if we could uh, do RFI labeling. Of course, I didn't even know what that was at first, so I did some research. I know what it is now, and there's so many different variations. Do you know if there's one certain one that they use? Um, is it worth getting into? Uh, we don't know a whole lot about it. What email did you send that to me from? Uh, uh, WKIND50874. So RFID is the barcode. It's not the one with the capture, the little picture you take a picture of. Or I suppose it could be both. Okay. Oh, radio frequency identifier. Okay, it's also got the chip in the back. So 
I got yeah, you. I ran into, and there was like, there, there's, you know, several different variations, like passive, non-passive, and it's like, holy cow, you know. I don't know if there's a certain one that they use, or is it, I'm sure they don't use five or six different ones. Cause it depends on what you're doing with this RFDI, you know, that chip. Yeah. Is the is the supplier uh, that you're talking about? Is that um, is it a manufacturer or is it a distributor? They're a distributor. I think I believe they're. You know, that we talked to them first. This is the first time we talked to them today, and uh, they are like a, they are a primary. So we'd be their. You know, their their small business um, folks. That, you know, the, the 23 percent they have to use. And they just happened to ask that question, and I, again, we didn't know what it was, and we I, we just told me I have to get back to them to look into it, and they said okay. Yeah. Well, as the supplier, they should be the one doing the labeling. Right? Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. They did ask the question, and, and I was again, I was I didn't know what it was at first. I had no it, idea. Um, it sounds like they want you to to scan it that way instead of scan instead of you know, bringing in packaging, uh, you know, and having uh, somebody in in uh, in receiving take it and process it manually. Say we received this, we received that. There, there. It looks like they're asking you if you can get an RFID gun. And scan and have the software to track stuff that way. Okay, I'll, I'll have to ask them again. You know, get more get more clear on it. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'd ask them for additional information. But if that's something that they're going to guarantee you, they'll do more work with you, or they can work with you easier. I'd do anything to make it easier on my suppliers. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I would agree with that because you know I look at the price of them and stuff. It's not that terribly expensive. You know, but, uh, okay. Yeah, if, they, if that'll help you move, uh, um, you know, more volume, absolutely. Yeah, I believe it will. They were very, you know, they were looking for, you know, small business set-asides um, to do business with because they need, you know, they need the, the volume through the small business. Sure. Good question. Anybody else have any questions or you, did you have another question? Oh, thanks, John. No problem. Anybody else have a bid or a solicitation proposal you want to work on today? B, didn't you have one? Actually, I went ahead and sent you um, an email earlier on the second one. The only thing is, my question on that is, um, it sounded great, but it's actually taking place, I believe, in Japan. So that really wouldn't work with our business as far as the transportation. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you would, I mean, to do that one, you'd have to kind of have an agent over there and, and subcontract to broker it to them. Right. So, um, would it have a? Would we have to just go ahead and check into the keywords that we we have entered in SEO? You mean as far as your searches? Yes. Yeah, I'd take a look at it and see if if, if you're getting uh, too many emails that are not a good fit. Let me know. Send me an example and let me know what search it's coming from. If you're getting okay. emails and there's never anything that's a good fit, it's just all garbage. Let me know. And, and just the vice versa, if you're getting, uh, say, a couple of searches that are always bringing you good stuff, that's what we want to model ourselves after. Right. Well, right now, there is no uh, at the go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say at the beginning, a lot of the searches that we were receiving through SBO in our emails, they were not compatible with, with our business. So I went ahead and... Um, contacted your office and some keywords were added it's just that a lot of what we're getting does not apply to the United States which is basically what we're kind of needing okay. um, send me examples of those whenever that happens email me an example of it say hey we're getting these from this search and it's never a good fit or we're getting these from this search and sometimes it's a good fit sometimes it's not uh, or we're getting we're getting these hits from this search and, and they're always a good fit they're great or these are never in the country and that way I can actually look at the individual searches okay I can do that all right you got it thank you John. 
No problem. Anybody else have a bid, proposal, solicitation, question? Hey, John Wayne, it's Mark Harness. How you doing? Another day in paradise. <laughs> I had emailed you earlier the uh, replacement repair overhaul of NOAA uh, to another parts. Okay, so there was a modification. If you already submitted your bid, you can resubmit it, being that there's a modification. Okay, great. Um, I, I looked at all the amendments and everything, and uh, they, nothing really affected my quote. Do I have to say in there anywhere that I have acknowledged the uh, amendments? It wouldn't hurt if you just if you emailed the uh, if you emailed everything to them. It wouldn't hurt to send an additional email saying you acknowledge the new amendment and that you have no changes. You're going to stick to your original proposal. Okay, but this does give me a chance to resubmit. So I, I sent you what I had sent them. Um, I was hoping that you'd get a chance to take a look at it and, and see if that's, in, in fact, in the format that it needs to be sent in. I, I was able to PDF everything so that, uh, you know, that, that off-name brand Word document that I was using, whenever you opened it, then some of the numbers were not lining up. I PDFed it, and I think that stopped that. Awesome. Awesome. You're in a good position. I, I would definitely respond to them, let, let them know that you acknowledge the uh, modification. Okay, did you get a chance to, to take a look at it, how I submitted it? I, I didn't know. I, I put just a very small uh, blurb in there on the body of the email, and then um, everything was in an, an attachment. It was a zipped attachment with volume one and volume three as volume two was emailed directly from my existing customers. Give me a preview. What's it? What do you mean? Who wants to the final week? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute everybody because there's a lot of background noise and I'm gonna look at this for a minute.
looks good as far as what I can see, you know, uh, just going through it and glancing over it looks good. All right, cool. Any other questions? No, uh, but can we look at that a, a little closer tomorrow? Uh, I can call you sometime in the middle of the day and uh, look at it a little closer and, and I don't know, I, I just... I, gotta, I just want to make sure it's right, right. Yeah, since you have time to resubmit it. Um, sure, let me know. All right, thank you so much. No problem. Anybody else have a bid or proposal solicitation or a question? What's your mama saying? Whatever we get to out, just be Anybody else have a proposal, solicitation, uh, question? Anyone? Bueller? Uh, John? Yes. Uh, James Robinson. Um, do you have time to go into uh, SEO and go over some search? Over some searches? Yeah, yeah, like um, how to go about search, like keywords, and say sure. how to say, um, so to set up searches in FBO, you log in <coughs> under Vendor Citizens. Right, right. So you log in, accept the terms and conditions, go to your save searches right here, click on it, right. and you're going to scroll down and you're going to add a new search. So you click add new search agent right here. You're going to label the search. And then you're going to put the keyword box in the same, whatever you label it. So here we're going to do, what keyword search would you want to do? Uh, give me a two-word two, two word search. Well, uh, I'm in, like, information technology, but I'll just put it in okay. a, uh, I don't know what we'll okay. or something like that. Computers so if, you're, if you were just going to do a one-word search, like computer, you put in the term, copy it, scroll down to the save keyword box and paste it and then scroll to the bottom and save it. If you're going to do a two word search like information technology if you have more than one keyword you put in a quote and like that close quote. Copy it Paste it here. Scroll to the very bottom, save and schedule, and then yes, enable. And you can save as many of those searches as you want. They'll run automatically every day. Okay. And that's an email like every day or once a day? 
every day, automatically. And being that, like, I'm in New York, what, would it be wise to just stick in my area, like New York, Jersey, Connecticut, for search as far as, like, cities or anything like that? I wouldn't. I mean, you can sell anywhere in the U.S. Right. Well, we're pretty much familiar with the East Coast side, so. Yeah, the federal government's the only government that allows you to sell across multiple states. State government won't let you do that. Oh, okay. Right. Any other questions? Any other questions? Anybody else have any questions? Anybody else got a bid they want to work on? Solicitation, proposal? Anyone? Macrame, County Cross Stitch? All right, if anybody else doesn't have a bit they want to work on or a question, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the training for today, and I'll be back on tomorrow, 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Let me know ahead of time if you want to join. If you've got a solicitation you want to work on, just send it to me ahead of time. Okay. Thanks, John. Thank you, John. No problem. No problem. See you guys tomorrow. All right. Thank you. No problem.